Okay, so what I want to cover first is how to approach the keywords that you're going to be using when you're doing your searching in the library or in Google. It's really important to know that when you use the library system, you can't type an entire sentence into the search box because what it, the system does is it requires the results that come back to have every single word that you put in. So if you put in like 10 words and you actually write an entire sentence, then you're going to miss out on lots of documents that don't happen to contain every single one of those words. This is where keywords come in. So when you're searching, you're going to be using isolated words and phrases um, that are the most important or the most key or that represent your topic the best. Um, and there's going to be a few different kinds of keywords you're going to use and what you need to do once you have them is kind of treat them like puzzle pieces and do different combinations to try and find results where the authors of different papers have used those keywords in combination. All right, so um, the first type of keyword you're probably going to be using is um, are, is keywords related to urban planning because we're talking about urban space, um, city planning, etc. And for this reason, we want to find papers that talk about this. So here we go, urban planning. That's one of the first keywords that you should have on your list um, and one of the ones that you'll be using to combine with different keywords to find results. Now you'll notice here that I actually have urban planning written with quotation marks around it. And if you're just putting in one word, like let's say you were just putting in the word planning, you don't actually need quotation marks around it when you're searching. I only do that because it's two words and I want to keep them together. If I was to type in urban planning to the library and I didn't put the quotation marks around it, I would find results where the word urban appeared anywhere and the word planning appeared anywhere. But I want them together as one thing. So that's what the quotation marks are for. So urban planning is going to be one keyword phrase that I want you to have on your list. What are some similar words or phrases you could use? Urban design seems uh, like one that I think would be really helpful. So you, I'm going to ask you, there's going to be a, an activity for you guys to do. I want you to brainstorm phrases like urban planning, urban design, city planning, um, things like that. That's going to be kind of like the overarching theme or topic of a lot of your searches. So that, those are some of the keywords we're going to use. Then, a little bit more specific than that, we are looking for information about what people have done with public spaces. I think public spaces is going to be a really important keyword phrase for you guys to use. And again, it's two words, so I have the quotation marks. And I will always ask you to brainstorm other ways of saying the same thing or getting at the same concept. So public spaces is one way of saying it, but you don't want to miss out on articles that might be useful where the author just used a different phrase. So for example, another author might have called something gathering spaces. We've got public spaces, gathering spaces. So I want all of these terms to be on your keyword list plus some more that you're going to come up with on your own. So that's, those are some really important ones. So you've got like the urban planning concept, which is like the general overarching, I guess you would say like discipline that most of the people that are writing about these kinds of things will be writing in. Public spaces is one of the more, um, it's like a broad term for the kind of space that you guys are looking at, but it's still more specific than urban planning. Then within that, you guys are going to have your own keyword set that depends on what your topic or what what um, was what your topic is, but what the project is that you're actually proposing. So, for example, some of you guys um, proposed well, one one group proposed the Greenway Loop. So, greenways would be an example of a keyword that you would need to use. And you'll notice that this, since this is just one word, I don't have quotation marks around it. I don't need them. Um, yeah, so, so greenways, if that's something that's part of your, of your proposal. Maybe you didn't um, propose a greenway per se, but some aspect of your proposal involved plants or trees. So maybe green space or green spaces would be an important keyword for you. 
So if you have a component of your project that includes that, make sure you have green space or green spaces as a keyword. And if you are the group or a group that had a green way as part of your proposal, then what you want to do is have both because, oh, how do I line these up? <laughs> you want to have both because you want to make sure that you capture different synonyms that different um, authors could have used. Uh, similarly, some of you proposed that lighting was an important feature of your space, so lighting will be a keyword for you. Um, some of you proposed public art of different kinds. So public art, in general, would be a keyword that you would want to use if some aspect of your proposal is art-based, which most of you do have some component that's art-based, public art. But some of you proposed things that are even more specific than that, so murals. Murals are an example of public art. So you don't want to just say public art, you want to give exam examples that are related to the specific thing you proposed. So there's going to be another step here where we do an activity, um, or where I ask you to brainstorm these things. So these are all examples of the kinds of things, words to describe the kinds of things you guys have proposed in your reports. Now, you also have a category of concepts that you need keywords for, and that is the proposed benefits of your project. Um, as I mentioned before, many of you made claims um, about how your project would support different things, like community. In addition to community, you could also say community building, community development. So those are examples of, of uh, keywords or keyword phrases that you could use. Some of you talked about um, how it would um, enhance well-being. For example, some of you had public art projects that you proposed um, at the hospital and you were talking about how it would bring a sense of well-being to people that were going into that space. So well-being would be an important one. And um, this is something slightly different, of course, but it could also act as a keyword synonym, and that is mental health. So don't forget, if you've made some kind of claim about mental health being supported by the project that you're proposing, you're going to have this as a keyword. So next step is now that we've looked at what some different keywords could look at, uh, could look like, I'm going to give you guys an activity where you brainstorm as part of your group um, the keywords that you're going to use for your search. <laughs>